The data we produce and consume is growing, but how do we manage it? It's no secret the world runs on data. The amount of data in the world is predicted to rise to 175 trillion gigabytes by the end of 2025. That means each of the world's 7.3 billion people produce 1.7 megabytes every minute. There are many uses for this vast volume of data across multiple industries. Enterprise organizations handle some of the largest volumes of data in the world. For example, Amazon's web store receives 1.1 million requests a second. This means Amazon collects around one exabyte of purchase history data from their consumer base. For context, that's one quintillion bytes or one million terabytes. The energy industry generates between 100 and 200 exabytes of data every year. Multinational banks generate millions of transactions a day, amounting to tens of terabytes of data every month. What are the major challenges for enterprises managing this amount of data? I think there are three main themes on this. The first one is about data silos and integration because uh, sometimes it's difficult to access data and it's difficult to bring it into a place where we can actually process it. The second theme is around governance and data quality. So it, it is a challenge to have accurate data, consistent data, and to be able to have the right policies in place to manage it. And the third theme is around scalability. So with the growing volumes of data, how can we manage the associated cost of this? This is a news to the Norwegian Sovereign Wealth Fund, which lost a staggering $92 million due to a seemingly innocuous spreadsheet error. A simple case of entering December 1st instead of November 1st in a massive spreadsheet doubled the operational accidental losses from 2010 to 2020. This sheds light on the hidden costs of desperate data and the urgent need for a modern approach to data management. So, what are the different ways of governing data? There are three models uh, currently. The first model is the centralized uh, data management model. It's the traditional model where you have a central um, team that handles everything related to data. On the opposite end, you had the uh, decentralized model, which each functional unit in the company owns the data and decides how it is managed. And then you have the happy medium, the federated um, data management model, where you try to strike a balance between a central core team providing guidelines and the flexibility of uh, each individual business units owning and managing their data. The federated model, again, tries to strike a balance between having a central set of guidelines and principles, something consistent that the whole enterprise can use with the autonomy and the flexibility uh, to give uh, individual functional units the opportunity to own their data. At the end of the day, these units are the ones that know best what their data means, how to process it and how to manage it. Uh, but you do need that central framework that keeps a consistency and gives you a standard base to work on at an enterprise level. What do businesses need to get started with a federated governance model? The main thing that is needed is have solid foundations. One of the challenges with the federated model is having the right technical foundations, policy foundations and process foundations in place. That means having a solid data platform that can provide you quality data at the right uh, time, having solid processes and uh, that can help you build ownership and build um, credibility around the data across the enterprise, and finally having the right um, kind of people around it and skills to manage it. Mm -hmm.